Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I am VP CRM Solutions with BISP. You must have heard that Inform Informatica is an ETL tool and it can be used for integrating data from uh, various data sources into your current app or the current solution we are using. So in continuation of that, we'll be going to see that how can we perform or how can we integrate Salesforce using Informatica Cloud to load data into Salesforce from a CSV file. So there are two ways to do that. So we'll be going to see both of the ways in separate videos. So in this video, we'll be going to see the easiest solution. So first of all, let's try to understand what exactly Informatica Cloud is and how it comes in, what's the features of it. So the Mark Benioff, the chairman and the CEO of Salesforce.com, they mentioned that it's a Informatica is a leader provided for data integration software with the broad, broadest access to enterprise data source of any other integration vendors. And uh, they have done a partnership with sales. That means the Salesforce has done a partnership with uh, Informatica, which represents a strategic relationship for our, their customers, ensuring that the Salesforce customer can manage and share all of their enterprise data and Informatica or information on demand. So Informatica, cloud data integration solution it is designed to help the salesforce.com customers so we can integrate the salesforce crm data and force.com applications with the data which is residing on other cloud or we have the data on premises data or maybe the data resides on the applications like oracle e-business jd edward and microsoft dynamics so these solutions ensures that the Salesforce data is synchronized with the corporate IT business systems. And at the same time, it maintains the highest possible data quality. So Informatica promises this that during integration, the data will not be in loss and the highest data quality will be provided to the customers. Now, what are the benefits of using Informatica for integration? because we have other tools for integration, but if we use Informatica as an integration tool, what would be the benefits we have? So we can integrate salesforce.com CRM and force.com with the rest of your business system. It ensures the accuracy of all the enterprises data we have in our existing solution. It improves the business decisions and operations with higher quality data and uh, derive the maximum value from the Salesforce CRM on force.com platform investment. And uh, with using in Informatica Cloud, we can load, sync, we can manage profiles, replicate data, or we can have our custom information. We can customize data and finally we can load that data into uh, Salesforce. So there is an integration cloud platform as a service for Informat. So basically Informatica acts as an integration cloud platform as a service. So it gives up, it provides a platform to the customers. It provides a platform to the users to integrate the data or to bring the data from different data sources, from various data sources into Salesforce. Now let's begin. Let's have a look. How can we integrate the data or how can we bring data from a CSV file into Salesforce by using Informatica Cloud? So in order to do that, first of all, you need to have administrative privileges. So the subscription I'm going to use for Salesforce, it's a developer's account and I have got administrative privileges. So I have switched to my Salesforce interface and by default, when I logged in into my Salesforce, I landed onto sales. Now we'll be going to use a tool from app exchange into Salesforce to integrate the data for integration. So I'll click on app exchange. And in app exchange, I search for Informatica. We look for Informatica.
and you can see there are a couple of apps which available which are coming so we'll be using this first app which is known as informatica cloud data wizard and uh, this it's a data loader for any user and uh, it can it it can easily by using this app we can quickly migrate we can quickly integrate the data from csv files or cloud storage like box and with a saas application such as netsuite so i click on this app click on get it now so it's a freely available it's free available and the pricing is free so it's an uh, it's release and it's, it will not expire it there is no expiration for it so i click on get it now because now they are a partner of salesforce so the expiration is not there now it's your choice where would you like to install this app on your production environment or your sandbox environment so i'm going to install it on my production environment you can check the details about the app so you can see duration does not expire click on confirm and install now it will ask us to log in to provide the credentials for salesforce so i provide my credentials and make sure you provide the same credentials to uh, to which you have logged in previously otherwise it will install in another application another org so that's the same subscription now you would like to install it only for admin or for all users so i'll go with for all users or you can install it for a specific profilers for specific profiles so i'll go with install for all users click on install yes i grant permissions to access the data and begin installation so finally the installation is completed and uh, click on done now once the installation is completed you can check all the packages we have installed or configured in our current subscription so informatica data wizard has been installed successfully and any time if we want to install it we can install it from here now once the installation is finished once the installation is completed when you drop down this force.com app menu you can see a new app has been added which is named as informatica data wizard so click on this informatica data wizard click on allow so once we allow and give permissions it will open a wizard and you can see a data wizard is open and we are getting one option called create new create new task and if you want to know more about informatica data cloud data wizard you, we we have a sample video here as well provided directly from informatica cloud so i click on create new now there would be the first question is what do you want to work on so what data object you want to work on or any other object so we have four objects mainly four objects account leads contacts and opportunities or any custom object we have so we can select that custom object from here so any custom object we have that object we can choose from here so i'll go with account because i have a i have an account i have created one sample file which contains around 17 records are there and which holds the fields like name phone and annual revenue so for example i'm using this file to bring the data from so i would like to bring the data from this csv file into uh, salesforce by using informatica cloud so i'll select account the next is the next step is what do you want to do with the account so do you want to import 
the CS, uh, we want, so there are some ready-made templates and you can see some more options would be coming soon. So time to time we can come and check what are the new options they are, they are, my, uh, they are integrating into it. So we would like to import accounts from a database table or export accounts to a database table. We can also export the accounts to a CSV file or we can sync accounts to NetSuite. So I'm going with the first option. I would be importing accounts from a CSV file. Select a CSV file to import. So there are two options. The, either we can upload from the local desktop, local system, or we can select from the box. So I'll go with the, I'll upload it from my computer and the file is account and because it would it should be a csv file so i have got two files account this is excel file its extension is xlsx and the another file we have this its extension is dot csv so we'll be using this file so i'm loading this csv file select account and open now below it's giving a message that uploading file accounts dot csv so file has been uploaded successfully because we are integrating data from CSV into Informatica, so we, there's an option that we can filter the data. If you want to apply some filters, we can apply filters here. We can uh, load data. For example, I would like to bring, I would like to integrate only those date, those record whose annual revenue is greater than or equal to so and so. So I'm not requiring any uh, filters. So I just clear all the filters. The next step is to map the fields. Mapping is very important because in worksheet, we have column names like name, phone, and annual revenue. And here we have name and phone, and it should be mapped with the fields on the object. So on the right, on the left side, the fields are coming from account.csv, and on the right side, the fields are coming from accounts object. So we would like to show them. So I would like to show only mapped fields or unmapped fields. We have unmapped fields because name and phone is mapped. Annual revenue is not mapped. So we need to map it and we look for annual revenue. So this is annual revenue and to, to do the mapping is simple. Simply drag the annual revenue from the account.csv and drop it to annual revenue on account object. You can see a green, green symbol appears. It means it is mapped. So now if we filter only map fields, so these are the three fields on account object which are mapped successfully with the three fields we have on account.csv. And the next step is to show the current data. So we click on current data and these fields are coming from, so basically these fields are uh, coming from CSV file. And the, so here we have the data is from CSV file and here we have the records from the, uh, here we have the fields from account object. So finally, we hide current data. And what what's the process we want to perform? We want to update, upsert, or insert. So these are all new records. So we only want to insert. So I will go with insert only. And what would be the name of this task? So we'll give a name as import account from CSV. And we sim. If you want to save it. So there are two options save and run and save it so we can save it and we can run it later on but if you want to process it right now so i click on save and run so you can see the processes begin and the message is coming that is connecting And once the process is completed successfully, it will give a message success. So there are 17 records which has been uploaded successfully. We can check the connections we have. We can connect to Oracle SQL Server or Box.com and the other resources, Data Wizard, or if you go for SQL, uh, Secure Agent. So basically, this is requiring for tasks for on-premises applications or databases. So to know more about it, we can uh, go for it. And that's the name of the task. Now. As you can see, the task we have select, uh, save and run. Just in case, if you want to rerun this, so we have an option run. So we can run this again or we can edit it to edit the task. 
so the processes can be customized so i'll just cancel that now let's go and check whether record gets success, record successfully inserted or not so i click on accounts and click on new this week actually there are uh, so i run the process three times i run the task three times so that's why we have duplicate records but in your case you need to do it you need to run the process only once and you will get the records into your account object so this is how we can successfully integrate the records from our existing source or from our desktop solutions into salesforce by using informatica cloud so this is the easiest way to do that now in next video we'll be going to see that how to uh, how can we integrate the data from informatica into salesforce by using informatica cloud application so for that we will be coming up with a new video so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bispsolutions.com you can connect us for the customized training as well as for consultant as well as job support on salesforce keep watching have a nice day goodbye